So in this video, I'm gonna compare the league defense system and meter dog and give you the differences in them so you can determine which one would be best for you. Make sure you stay till the end because I'm gonna tell you why I think one of them is better than the other one. And if you haven't done it yet, please subscribe and ring the bell. If you know any homeowners that may need a remote leak detection system, you might wanna share this video. Now, remote leak detection is something that's relatively new, but it's a great product. And if you're a plumber, it's a great thing for you to be installing and selling to consumers. The reason being, this is something that's gonna save them tens of thousands of dollars. And it's gonna give you a sale because you're gonna be able to come out and install this system for them. Now there's several different brands out there. Today, I'm gonna to talk about two of the bigger ones, the Leak Defense System and Meter Dog. Now, I've talked about Meter Dog before, but here recently we've been asked to go out and look at a house and determine what the best system is for it. Leak Defense System is one of them that they gave us to look at. So, don't get me wrong, I think they've got a great product, but I'm gonna give you the pros and cons of each to help you decide what might be the best system for you. So when we talk about the leak defense system, first of all, it has to be installed indoors. It doesn't have to be, but it's recommended. You can install it outdoors, but you're gonna have to bring it up out of the ground and therefore probably put a valve box, probably an insulated valve box there because you don't want the water line to freeze in the middle of the night if it gets cold. So that's one thing about the leak defense system that's not really great. It has to be installed indoors or above the ground. Now here in Texas, the way we plumb our houses, we actually run the water line in. We have a valve box in the front yard, but the water line comes in maybe to the middle of the house or somewhere before it ever comes up. So you'd have to know exactly where it came up to tie on to the water line where it came up or T end of the line where it comes in and reroute it over to the garage or somewhere where you can install this someplace in a dry safe place. Now the leak defense system is Wi-Fi. So you probably want it close enough that it's gonna get a good Wi-Fi signal all the time. Also, it runs on electricity. So whether you install it outside or inside, you're gonna need an electrical outlet nearby so you can actually power the unit. Now, that's a good thing to remember why this unit cannot be submerged underwater. It is electronics. It is electric and it runs on power. <laughs> now, one thing that they do recommend is to do a battery backup or a generator backup. Now, that could be a quite an additional expense if you do not already have a battery backup or a generator for your house. Now, here's one thing that I'm not real big on. One thing about the leak defense system, it wants you to install it after the irrigation. It wants you to install it after a PRV after a filtration system, after a water softener, after a whole lot of things that could possibly leak. Think about it. Some of the leaks we find here in Texas are on the irrigation system. If I've installed this system after it, it's not gonna let me know if there's a leak or not. The leak defense system is really good in a way because this is gonna help protect your house. That's why insurance companies want this. So this is gonna help protect you from damage to your house. I completely get that, but it's not gonna save you from losing money on water leaks, where if there's a leak on the irrigation system and you don't know about it, and it leaks for months or years or something, that can add up to a lot of money. So here are my things on this. Look, install it indoors or install it outdoors where it's elevated and you can put a valve insulated valve box, something around it. Electricity, it's always running on electricity and you've gotta have a Wi-Fi connection. So remember those things as you're thinking about what type of system you want for your house. And make sure you stay around to the end because I'm gonna tell you with what happened last February in Dallas, this would be a problem with this system. So now let's talk about Meter Dog. So Meter Dog, they actually recommend installing at the meter. Now, the good thing about that is that's gonna detect any movement. It goes in the meter box, so it can be submerged. It can get wet. And the good thing is, it runs on a battery. So you don't have to worry about the electricity. The battery is actually encased in the unit. Now, if you're not gonna install it in the meter box, they've got another option that actually has a shutoff valve to where you've got an app on your phone to where you can turn the water off to your house. The cool thing about that is, you come right off the meter, now you install your own meter to where you hook up the meter dog to, and the shutoff valve, and the valve assembly that goes in that, the neat thing is 
there is no Wi-Fi connection. This actually has its own cellular connection. So even if your power goes out at your house, where the leak defense system, you'd lose Wi-Fi and you'd lose power to the unit, so it's not gonna power off or tell you if you have a leak, the meter dog is completely different. It has a battery and it has a cellular connection. So even if it's raining, it's flooded, the power goes out, your meter dog is still gonna work. One of my favorite things about having this installed out at the meter, it's prior to your irrigation system. So to me, the benefit of that is if you have a leak on your irrigation system or if you have a leak on your house, it really doesn't matter which one, it's gonna let you know. If you know your system, you come out and turn off the water on the backflow preventer, turn the valve off on it, check it again, does it stop? If it does, that tells you it's on the irrigation system. If it doesn't, that tells you it's further up line. Go to your valve box in your yard. Is the meter dog still detecting movement? If so, that tells you that the leak is there in the yard. If you turn it off and it doesn't, that tells you, hey, it's probably in the house. Open the valve back up. Now you know you've either got a leak in the house or under the house. The other thing is, this can be installed prior to your PRV, booster pumps, water softeners, filtration systems, anything that Leak Defense says install their unit after. So I told you to hang around and I tell you with what happened here in February, why one of these is actually better than the other one. Last February here in Texas, number one, the Dallas area, even as far south as Houston, got down below freezing. We had water breaks everywhere. Problem is, we had also lost a lot of power. And 600,000 total outages as I speak. And Dallas County has the most of any right now. It's 268, just a touch over 268,000. The grid went down, so we had homes without electricity that were flooding. One of these systems, Meter Dog, would have still worked properly. It has a cellular connection and it runs on battery. And the good thing is you can set it where you get notified as soon as you want to, meaning you can set how fast it notifies you if it detects a leak and you've got a button on your phone right there, you can turn it off. So those of you that didn't see it, CNBC contacted me. I took them to a house that happened to have a leak while the homeowner was in Mexico on vacation. They actually aired it live from that house that night. Pipes are freezing and breaking across Central and North Texas right now. And master plumber Roger Wakefield warns things could get worse when the temperature rises. The problem is once they start thawing, they're probably going to lead to freeze breaks. Then people are going to be rushing trying to turn their water off. Their power was off and they had a flood. The leak defense system would not have worked because it did not have electricity and it may have gotten wet. You pick what's right for you. If you've got a system where your water line comes in deep in a basement maybe and turns up, leak defense system may be fantastic. There's a lot of good things about it and there's a lot of good things about meter dog. Look at which one makes the best sense for you. If you're a plumber and you've installed either one of these, do me a favor and leave me a comment down below and let me know what are the pros and cons on the unit and how hard was it to install. Do your homework and figure out which one's best for you. Again, if you're a plumber, let me know how your installs go. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.